Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? This is Chris AK Fossey Play and we are still playing Tokyo Dark, but I think we are quite far into the game. Uh, in the last session we um, figured out that Reyna was actually um, held by, by um, held hostage, so to speak, by her uh, her agency, right? This, uh, this Omega agency and this was a proper proper girl Girl trafficking, whatever, girl trafficking, um, business. And, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, some tough shit, man. Okay, and now we need to leave Shinjuku and go to Kamakura, right? Yes. Because we need to speak to Mai. The girl we saw earlier, I think in episode 3. I came here to find out to find out about the mask, but there's something I've got to do first. Six months ago, I sent one girl to the morgue and very nearly killed another. Since then, I thought of coming here to apologize to my Kavana, Kavana countless times, but couldn't will myself to see her and be faced with my failure. I think of the fear and hurt in her eyes, and I feel nothing but shame. For my own peace of mind, I need to tell her the truth about that day and about how I lost control. Hopefully she can find it in herself to forgive me enough to help me with my investigation of the mask. Wait, it's fall. Why are the cherry blossoms blooming? It's like nothing's changed since the day. Okay. This guy again here. Uh, but I think he is not present. Wait. Oh. oh, it's uh, you. I was reading the papers and uh, I, I saw your picture. And then I saw the picture on the TV news. And maybe the 7chan message boards. 7chan, Jesus. After I looked you up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was curious. I remembered meeting you and couldn't believe it. It's like I met a celebrity or something. Oh, of course, it's not good or anything, but you know, you never know who you'll meet in the business. Everyone always seems so unassuming. I mean, that's not to say any of it was your fault or anything. Okay, so the message boards are pretty bad. There's a lot of bad stuff on there, like, wow, pretty wild stuff. Are you done? Oh, right, sorry, yes. Hello, again. Uh, cherry Blossoms, where is my... Okay, let's ask about her Cherry Blossoms first. What's going on with the weather here? It's fall, why are the Cherry Blossoms out? It's beautiful, isn't it? That's the species of cherry tree, the Prunus superetala. Autumnalis, that sometimes blooms twice a year. At least, that's what it says online. Would have thought we'd have them here in Kamakura. Well, I say Kamakura, but they only seem to be in this part of town. Lucky, huh? A cherry blossom tree that blossoms in fall? I've never seen it. Are you sure you've got your facts straight? It seems impossible. Impossible? Do you doubt my botany expertise? Impossible would be if the seasons started reversing themselves, don't you think? Yeah, it certainly feels that way. Huh? You say something? Why the glum face? Anyway, I hope you take advantage of the weather and go for a picnic or something. The blossoms are so peaceful. Don't they put don't they put your mind at ease? Yeah, not really, man. We have uh, something different on our mind. Uh, Mice grandmother. Is Mice grandmother still at that house near there? You want to see her? Well, she is still around, I suppose. I see the comings and goings of all the people around here. I don't see her getting out much, though. Oh, yes, that reminds me. When you were last here in April, did she, I don't know, give you something? I'm not accusing you, of course. It, I just, I heard that there was an important artifact that went missing last spring. Havana is old and losing her faculties a bit. <laughs> Maybe she gave it to you by mistake. Can you remember anything like that? The mask. Dude, I won't tell this guy about the mask, man. What? No, of course not. Oh, I see. I'm sure it will turn up. Yes. Well, where's Mai? I'm looking for Mai Kavana. Have you seen her? Oh, you're looking for Mai again, huh? Are you sure that's such a good idea? She was pretty upset about the um, happenings the last time you were here. I've barely seen her leave Kamakura since then. Maybe it's best you leave her alone. It's important. I talk to her. I suppose she'd be at the shrine that's down the street like usual. Mai is very important to this town. Please don't upset her too much. We all want everything to go back to normal. Yes, okay. 
It's a little early to think about leaving. I need to speak with Mai first. Uh, oh, okay. I want to leave. I wanted to leave the uh, conversation only. All right. So can I go here? Knock. Go away! No visitors. Stay away from the summoner. <laughs> That's my uh, Final Fantasy X anecdote. All right. Mm, nothing here. Go to shrine. Ah, here she is. Cherry blossoms fell gently at my feet as I approached the Kavana family shrine. In front of me was my Kavana, still dressed in the outfit of the shrine maiden. She had seen me approach and stood there frozen and terrified. Same helpless look on her face as when she had a knife to her throat months before. This time, it was me she was terrified of. We were the only two people at the shrine, yet I couldn't shake the feeling of being followed. A familiar presence watching from the shadows. Uh, 20 seconds? Jesus. Oh, come on! No! What? Dude, what is... What, what if, if I'm doing absolutely nothing? Okay? Hand, hands off the keyboard. My hands are off the keyboard. I am doing nothing. What now? No, I won't do it. Ah, so this is an option. Shit. I didn't think about it earlier. Why now? Why her? I don't have to do what you say. I am not a puppet. I can choose. You? The detective from before? Why are you just standing there? I is, is it over? I'm fine. Sorry to scare you. I'm here to talk to you. See, I... I've never been good at apologies. I'm sorry for everything I put you through. I've been meaning to talk to you ever since that day. I should have come sooner. You're here to apologize? Now? I didn't hear from anyone in six months. The police only talked to me once and then everyone here started avoiding me and acting like it never happened. I guess that makes me the last person you want to see now. After that day, I'm sure some police came by and told you that I was only following procedure, but that's bull. Police in this country don't go around shooting people. I didn't feel myself and lost control, putting you at risk. Sounds vague to say I lost control at such a crucial time, I bet. But that's the truth. The truth? It's strange, isn't it? Cherry blossoms, I mean. It's silly, but every time someone comes here and says how beautiful they are, I get so mad. It's like they don't understand my feelings at all. But that's selfish, huh? It's not like I want everyone to suffer along with me. I imagine the only other one who understands that is you, detective. Your name's Ito, right? So quiet here. It's hard to imagine something like that that today in April really happened in a place so peaceful. But it did. You know that you and your par partner were only doing what you could to save me, but I wish I could have helped. I felt so helpless. At least you told me the truth. Thank you. You know, I asked Grandma about the mask the red-headed girl was after and she denied knowing anything. But it was a lie. I found one of her old journals and the shrine she wrote that the mask was important and had to be hidden away. How would she lie to me? I'm sick of everyone always trying to protect me by covering everything up. Grandma hasn't been the same since that day either. She shuts herself up in that old house and mumbles to herself about darkness and purity. I'm not worried about her. That tells me that the mask has something to do with it. I'm sorry. Listen to me rambling away. I bet you don't care about any of that. The truth is, I think you're right about the mask having something to do with all this strangeness. I actually came here to ask you about it. You think so too? Then let me help you. I don't know anything, but maybe Takashi does. Oh, sorry. Takashi's my brother. He used to live here in Kamakura with me and Grandma, but he left the first chance he got. We talk on the phone all the time, but he refuses to come back and visit. I get the feeling he knows something. I don't. He won't even tell me about how my parents died. Where does your brother live now? He's an instructor at Kendo Dojo in Asakusa in Tokyo. I hear he's the, he's the big shot in the Kendo world. Hmm, it sounds like he'd been a good place to start. Do you think he'll speak to me? I can try. He's never been very good at opening up to strangers, though. It's worth a shot. Thanks for helping me, Mai. Okay, we have now a new option, or rather the only option, uh, to go to a new district. 
can. Nope. Yes, we can, but not a, not a different uh, response. Okay. Uh, do I have to I have to enter this to leave? Okay, this is bullshit. Bullshit, man. Uh, leave Kamakura. Uh, Azakusa info. Azakusa, the home of Sanjo G, one of the most famous temples in Tokyo. It's also a burst busting entertainment district. It remains a pocket of tradition and culture surrounded by the city's high rises. Yeah. Ravel. My investigation up to that point led me to believe that finding Takashi Kavana would be difficult and convoluted. That could be further from the truth. Turns out his kendo dojo was well regarded as a popular training spot for a few national champions and several of the city's police officers. The latter made me nervous. The information I was asking for was sensitive and I didn't want word of my investigation finding its way back to the HQ. A few misfired questions could end up with officers knocking on my door, or worse, Imura himself calling me up. I had to be cautious. Hey. So, the first thing here, look. Inside is the interior of a traditional tea shop, but it doesn't look like anyone's been here recently. Okay. Guy. Buy octopus balls. Oh. Hello there. Would you be interested in buying some of the finest Tayokai in Tokyo? This isn't the cheap stuff you buy at food stand at a festival. They will make you question everything you know about octopus in ball form. Who can say no to that sales pitch? Sure, I'll take some. Oh, I see. Wow, you're right. This is maybe the best takoyaki I've had. Thank you, miss. Best takoyaki on all the islands. Neurosis. <laughs> God, okay. He is a food lover, though. Dude, this one looks ridiculous. I mean, he has a, he has a red beard. So this means he's uh, English. <laughs> Definitely English or Irish. Uh, also, he is uh, white as bleach, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. I also want to want to visit Tokyo someday. I really want to. Uh, look. Tourists, likely. I can hear them speaking English. Ugh, my English isn't so great, so I doubt they'll be with much help. But I wonder what they're talking about. Ha! I was right. Listen. Hello there. Is there something we can help you with? Huh? I... Uh, don't speak in... Wait, Japanese? Your Japanese is perfect. As a college professor, if it wasn't, I'd probably be out of a job. I'm no college professor, but I work in Japanese software companies, so I'd be in a bit of trouble too. Hmm? Don't look at me, I just live here. Well, not in Tokyo, in the suburbs. Well, I think you guys might speak Japanese better than I do. I mean, sorry, I just, um... I never would have thought. Would you prefer to speak in English instead? No! I mean, no, please. Um, Japanese is fine. Sorry, I wasn't meaning to be nosy. I guess I don't see people wearing yukata this late in the year. Is there a festival or something? Uh, no, we come to Azakusa every year and the yukata became part of the tradition after a while. Guess it makes us stand out more than we already do, huh? Don't knock tradition, Tony. Admittedly, my legs are a little cold, though. Okay. Uh, make excuse to leave. Ask about Takashi's dojo. You guys come here every year? You must know the area pretty well by now. I'm looking for a kendo dojo where Takashi Kavana works. It should be in this area. Kavana? Why does that name so, so seem so familiar? Oh right, he's that kendo instructor at the dojo right behind us. People say he's some kind of prodigy. I won't be surprised if he became a master in time. Supposedly, he's very particular about who he trains. I suppose he doesn't want to waste his time with people who aren't serious. Makes sense when you think about it. With how good he is, he must get a ton of wannabe kendo masters coming to him. Seems like he trains a lot of police too. In the time we've been standing here, we've seen a few come in and out. Of that, and I think he's still in his 20s. For someone so young, he must be under a lot of pressure. No kin. I've heard talk of an interdepartmental kendo tournament. It's become a matter of pride for the different regional departments. I wish my work did much. Did much. What? Oh. I wish my work did martial arts competitions between departments. Nothing would work out on the unspoken tension between me and my boss quite like as good as Mac to the drawline. Ha ha ha. Police fighting each other, huh? That must be pretty brutal. I mean, I guess police in Japan don't really have to use force all that much, though. Yeah, anyway, how do you know so much about the dojo anyway? 
I mean, I live in Shinagawa, and I don't know anything that specific about it. <laughs> um, you see, it says so right here in the dojo's flyer. He was out there about 10 minutes before you came handing them out. Kind of seemed a little prickly, so we didn't talk to him, though. I admit, it would have been much cooler if we'd known that off the top of our hat. But we're glad we're able to help you regardless. <sighs> Makes me feel a little silly now, trying to learn more about him from the flyer. Considering he trains so many police, I'm surprised I never heard of him until now. Hmm? Are you associated with the police somehow? Uh, who? Me? No, 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 of course not. I, um, I'm an investigator, see? Like, um, a private detective? Listen, if anyone comes by asking about a female detective, just, um... Sorry, I don't speak Japanese, right? Exactly, I appreciate it. Anyway, I should get going. Sorry to bother you. Thanks for the information, guys. Our pleasure. Good luck at the dojo. Let us know if you learn any Kenno tricks. The man in the department always puffed out the chest when they talked about the Kendo competitions like it was going to impress me or something. Never paid him much attention. Still, it's strange that someone related, however faintly, to the mask has yet another tie to my old life. Ashikavana seems like an in interesting guy, but very serious and not keen on strangers. At least I didn't have to use any English. That would have been a disaster. Ah man, the English is my part here. I help you out, Ido. I got your back. I got your back. Madam. Okay. Look. This looks like the dojo I was looking for. It has a very traditional aesthetic. And I... Okay. Dojo? Who are you? Uh, Detective Ito? No, um... I said a friend of mine, because I am. Kind of. You're a friend of my sister's. You expect me to believe that? A little old, don't you think? Gee, thanks. Really, you think I wouldn't recognize you? You're the officer who was there at the shrine in April who almost got her killed. And now you're lying about it, pretending to be our friend, not to no doubt to get something from me. Don't look so shocked. Your little deception was easy to read, is all. After your idea seeing Kamakura, I heard Mike crying over the phone every night for a month. Don't bother her anymore. Now, get out of here before myself or one of your fellow officers have to throw you out. Yeah, this was, uh... Stupid. Okay, uh, I can only exit. But what do I do now? Well, that didn't go well. Maybe Mai will know how to soften her brother up. Ah, uh, this is a bit, uh, a bit silly. This is a bit silly, um... I mean, the game definitely has its flaws. Definitely. Unfortunately, um... I'm a clear, right? To be honest, um... I think the game could have been way better. Um... But I will talk about the end of the end of the game, about all, all this stuff here. But I think, um... I don't know, man. It's, it, it's, it's a, bit, a bit, um... A bit too easy, a bit too... You know what I mean? A bit too straightforward. Mm, just go, go, the, go to point A, then go to point B, then go to, back to point A again. Uh, yeah, it's not that, that good. Okay, your brother. I think I managed to find your brother. He didn't exactly seem happy to see me. Yep, you found big brother. All right. He seemed protective of me ever since we were little. I know I'm probably overstepping boundaries, but would you be willing to come talk to him? I don't think he'd tell me anything on my own. You want me to help? You know, seeing you again really got me thinking. I decided that even if everyone's trying to hide it, I can't sit here and ignore what's happening. I need to understand why my family has been acting so strangely. And my own brother is keeping me in the dark. I'm sick of it. Sure, I'll come with you, Ido. If I went alone, he'd probably pat me on the head and set me out of my way. But if you're there, I'm sure he'll tell me about you, my parents, the mask and everything. Are you sure that's what you want? Sometimes not knowing is better, Mai. No, no more stupid little Mai. I'd rather be hurt and know that, and know than happy than ignorant. But before we go, let's check on Grandma. Dates, if she doesn't know where I am, it can really set her off. All right, we'll make a quick start with the house. Thanks, Mai. Okay, let's visit the old hack. Oh. What's this? A dead crow lays in the middle of the street. Small body is in a bad state of decay. 
covered in dried blood. The maggots have begun eating at, it, at its remains. Shit. Okay. Hi. Go oh, here. <laughs> okay, knock. Grandma, it's me. Please open the door. My, oh my, it's you. Please come in. Yes, come in. Yeah. Wait, what is she doing here? It's okay, Grandma. She's here to help. Help? Ah, don't make me laugh. You were supposed to help me, remember? I felt something and you were going to free me from the past. Free you? Are you talking about the mask? Do not discuss that horrid thing here. No matter how far you go, I can still feel it, like needles in my skin dragging me to it. In my dreams, I can still see that place. Have you seen it too, detective? A dark place where those we've lost reside. I'm so old and have wasted so much time and yet the pain won't go away. My poor Imiko. I miss her so much, if only I could have found her. Miku, you mean mom? Find her? What are you talking about? She's gone. Kashi told me she died after I was born. Yes, of course. You shouldn't be asking about such things, Mai. If it weren't for this woman, you'd be safe at the shrine. No, Grandma, you're wrong. I'm not safe while everyone lies to me. I'm going to see Takashi. If you don't tell the truth, he will. Mai, listen to yourself. You must stop. Opening the door to the path will solve nothing. Ever since you were little, I've done what I could to protect you and your brother. Please don't go this path. You look so much like her, you know, your mother. And you, detective? Perhaps my granddaughter is too naive to see it, but you can't hide it from me. I know what you think you're able to do, but keep my family out of it. We've suffered enough. You don't know anything about me, and besides, I'm not the one hiding things from my family. Got her. Tell me, do you know the story of Izanagi and Izanami? Uh, yeah, sure. Grandma, this again? I'm sure he is not interested in hearing some old myth. Really, we should get going. Stay right there. Though I've told you this story so many times, you don't seem to grasp it in its importance. I think it would be of use to this woman to hear it. Izanaki and Izanami were the first of the gods known to us as the Kami. In legend, it was the drops of ocean water that fell from Izanagi's jeweled spear that created the islands of Japan. When they descended to our lands, they brought their love and devotion with them to the realms of mortals. Izanagi and Izanami had many children, the deities of nature that inhabit the natural world all around us. For a time, life was peaceful. However, Izanami gave birth to Kakuchi, the kami of fire. She was horribly burned and suffered mortal wounds. As she lay dying and faced with her mortality, New kami were born from her suffering, kami that did hit away from the light. When Izanami passed, Izanagi was inconsolable, and in his rage he struck down the child that killed his love. Unable to accept her death, he ventured deep underground to Yomi no Kuni, the land of the dead. She mean no Kuni. Half blind and distraught with grief, he wandered in the darkness until he finally heard the voice of his beloved. Though unable to see her face, Izanagi begged Izanami to return with him. Izanami replied that she would try and ask the gods of Yomi no Kuni permission to return to the land of the living. Incapable of restraining his desire to see his love, Izanagi set his comb alight in order to look upon his lost love. What greeted him was the sight of her decaying, worm-eaten face. In horror, Izanagi attempted to flee Yomi no Kuni. Izanami Rage sent dark spirits to pursue him and drag him back to her. After narrowly escaping, Izanagi sealed the entrance to Yomi no Kuni with a great boulder. So you see, it is our mortality that brings suffering into the world, yet resisting it is a perversion of the natural order. Being mortal means we must accept that we cannot control life and death. Detective, some things cannot be changed and some doors should never be opened. You must stop. Grandma, you're talking about stories and myths. We're talking about real things. The story may be a myth, but there is truth within it. Can't you see that? The things you pursue, they're unnatural, unclean. Keep my warning and stop this foolishness. I won't let you involve my family any further. First, those bastards take my 
Imiko, then you show up. Perhaps I'm being punished for my sins. I come here. Come here, my sweet child. We must keep you away from her. No, Grandma, I told you already. I'm going to see Takashi. I'm an adult now. You can't tell me what to do anymore. No, you can't. You can't go. We must protect our family from outsiders, my. You're reopening old wounds. Leave us alone. Let us heal. Heal? You think I want to heal? Can't you see how much these lies have hurt me already? You are the one wounding me, Grandma, not Ito. You're delusional. You tell us stories about Kami and spirits. Akashi might hide things from me too, but at least he makes sense. This time he's going to tell me the truth about everything, about mom and dad too. No, stop. I'll tell you how your parents, how they... You can't, can you? You never told me how they died. <coughs> Sorry. The reasons always change every time I ask. No, my, please. You must listen. They, they might be listening. They're still out there and they haven't forgiven me. Can't you see? Oh, this prolonged... I cannot... This is so fatiguing, man. They? What are you talking about? You're insane. I'm sorry. I spoke to you that way. I'll be back to check on you soon. Oh, go, please. Goodbye, Grandma. This is another thing, man. These... these um, I like dialogues. I uh, told this already, but... I'm sorry. She's gotten so much worse since you last saw her. No, it's fine. Why do you think she told us the story? About Izanagi? I don't know. It was kind of creepy, wasn't it? She was talking about it like she really believed it. Come on, let's go see Takashi. Yeah, I said it earlier. I like dialogues and, and uh, voiceover with different voices, whatever. But these dialogues are so prolonged. This is so unnatural to keep talking and talking and talking over the same thing. It... it this is just... This is just the design flaw. I mean... This game is basically, could have basically done in like two hours, but instead of these, instead they uh, put in these extra dialogues to make it like four or six hours long. I hate this. I I really don't like it. I really don't like it. Okay. Um, I hope we get the story under, under our wraps here, man. Um, in the next session, we will go talk to uh, Takashi with Mai, and maybe then we will... Um, we will get some information regarding Mai's past, and I think this will help us connecting the dots with the mask and whatever, I hope. And I think we are nearly done with this game. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Let's see each other in the next episode of Tokyo Dark. Have a great day. Take care.